ऐसे फंडामेंटल्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अलोंग विथ कंसेप्ट ऑफ फेज एंड फेज डिफरेंस नाउ लेट्स सी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एसी नाउ व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी ओवर हियर इफ दिस एसी सप्लाई इज पास थ्रू ऑल द पैसिव एलिमेंट्स हाउ द एसी विल एक्ट सो द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज अ प्योर रेजिस्टेंस सो दिस इज अ सर्किट AC supply is given to the resistance. AC supply is V, and resistance is given as R. Whenever the AC supply is passes, current I will be flowing, and that will give a voltage V R across resistance R. So voltage is V M sine omega t. I am taking a reference quantity because the phase angle for this voltage I am taking as zero. if i see the diagram it is quite obvious this voltage and this voltage across resistance will be same so v of t equal to vr according to ohm's law the current flowing through the circuit will be total voltage divided by total resistance so i of t equal to v of t divided by r v is given by vm sin omega t if i substitute i will get vm sin omega t divided by r which i can say i r current flowing through the resistance now this is the equation of current i am getting if i compare with the standard equation i of t equal to i m sin omega t plus phi i will get i m as v m divided by r maximum value of current pass and phi term is missing over here i can say phi equal to 0 degree remember for voltage we have taken a phi zero so current also i am getting phi equal to 0 degree what is the conclusion that i can draw over here in purely resistive circuit the current and the voltage applied are in phase with each other because for both the quantities phase angles i am getting is zero now let's see the waveforms it's very easy this is vm sin omega t starting from zero i am getting phase angle phi for current also so current will also be starting from zero and it is given by im sin omega t so if i see properly both the wave forms starting at the same instant that is zero and one cycle of both the wave forms completing at 2 pi so whenever i draw a phasor diagram of this v is a reference because we have consider phase for that quantity as zero so it is along positive x axis direction and i am getting current also i am sin omega t having phase angle zero so that is also along positive x axis direction so both the phasors are in line so i can say v and i both are in phase for resistive circuit now let's say the power relation the instantaneous power is given by p equal to instantaneous voltage v into instantaneous current i so v equal to vm sin omega t i substituted same way i also i am getting as im sin omega t if i solve i will get vm into im sin square omega t so this is the instantaneous power i am getting let's plot it so for plotting purpose what i will do sin square omega t i can represent it as 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 so in subsequent diagram i have shown voltage current and power now power is also in terms of sinusoids so it has two components in it one component is vm im by 2 and another component is vm im by 2 cos 2 omega t so if you closely observe this you will come to know out of these two components one component is a dc of a fixed value vm im by 2 and another component is a sinusoidal so what happen uh, one sinusoid is present and that sinusoid has shifted by some amount and that shift is nothing but vm im by 2 every time whenever i supply ac average power comes into the picture so we need to calculate average power over a one cycle so that is given by p average equal to vm im by 2 why because average we have seen 
for any sinusoidal quantity average over a one complete cycle is always a zero because it has positive and a negative of cycles whatever a positive values will be having same negative values are also present at the same time so if i take the average it will become zero so this term is vanishes so average power will become vm im by 2 now this 2 i am splitting like this root 2 root 2 so one root 2 will go for this vm another root 2 for this im we know vm divided by root 2 is vrms and im divided by root 2 is irms so actually average power for this circuit is vrms into irms or in other words you can simply say it's i square r where i is nothing but rms value of current passing through the circuit so in this video we have seen when AC is passed through a pure resistance, what is happen? So what is the first thing? Voltage and current both are in phase for a resistive circuit. And second, power is nothing but VRMS into IRMS or also given as I square R. Thank you.